Would you believe me if I told you that my eyes are not even real? I recorded this entire clip without looking into the lens and just fixed it later with a new AI tool called Eye Contact Correction. But how well does it work on 11 different clips? From vlogging to podcasts to some iconic TV moments. I am the one who knocks. But before we put this AI to the test, you might be asking yourself, how does this tool actually work? Veed's AI tracks the movement of your face, then replaces your eyes with a natural looking gaze. It also replicates your eye color and even your blinking. So instead of memorizing your script word by word or buying an expensive teleprompter, you can record entire takes by reading off your computer screen and just fix your eyeline later on. So now let's see how well it really works. As you can see, I recorded this YouTube video in my normal studio setup and I'm reading my script from my laptop over to one side. And now it looks like I'm staring directly into the lens for the entire recording. This is what it looks like before and this is what it looks like after. So essentially this tool has allowed me to record much much faster because I'm making less mistakes. I also tried this clip from a live stream filmed from a slightly different angle and this one actually worked even better. It's tracked my head movement really well. I did make sure that I didn't twist my head around too much because that might lose the track. Tracking. But now let's take things out of the studio. If you've ever filmed a vlog, then you know that it can sometimes be tempting to look over to the side at the flippy screen of your camera just to make sure that your shot is still okay or just to check if you're still recording. So I went ahead and recorded an entire take where I look over at the camera screen rather than into the lens. And now let's see how it does. All I need to do is head over to vid.io, upload the clip from my computer, and once it's in the editor, it's really easy. Just click on your clip at the bottom of the screen, select eye contact on the left hand side, and in just a few seconds, the AI has worked its magic. And this is pretty amazing. Nobody would ever know that I wasn't looking directly into the lens. But what happens when you add a bit more movement? This next clip is very similar. I'm looking into the camera screen once again, but I'm also walking as I talk, which will make it much harder for the AI to track my eyeline. But amazingly, I think this actually looks even better than the last example where I'm standing still. It's tracked all of the movement and it even manages to work out when the light changes as well. This is actually blowing my mind. But let's make it even harder for the AI by only glancing away from the lens a couple of times. This next clip is a very similar vlog style, but recorded vertically on my phone instead. And I actually looked into the lens for most of the recording and at a couple of different moments I briefly glance away to my side which can sometimes happen when you get distracted out in public and sadly this one doesn't really work. On the second glance especially you can see that the AI tries to correct it but the movement is just a little bit too sudden it doesn't look very natural but when I try again with another clip here I'm not looking into the lens at all and I'm walking for the entire clip and this one works really well again. So actually the worse your eyeline is for the entire recording the better the AI seems to perform. But what happens when we add some more eyeballs into the frame? Maybe you've given a presentation on Zoom or you've recorded an interview for a podcast where you're looking down at your notes on your computer screen. So what I want to know is how does the AI react in this sort of scenario? And the answer is just not that well. It seems to get a little bit confused when you add multiple faces. It's tried to correct my eyes because I'm the one talking, but it just looks really, really creepy. The perspective seems really wrong. The eyes just, no, it's not good. It does the exact same thing when you add even more eyeballs. So to get the best results, you should probably stick to one face at a time. But I did actually find a way around this group call situation. If I crop down the same video to only show one person in the frame at a time, then run the eye contact correction once again, it does actually work on every single one of us. And you can just put them back together in the same frame afterwards. Now, just for a bit of fun, let's try a few famous film and TV moments. Here's Walter White's I Am The One Who Knocks speech delivered directly into the camera. You think that of me? No. I am the one who knocks. And what about that famous scene from Gladiator with Maximus looking directly at you? Father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. Or even the Joker from The Dark Knight with his eyes corrected to look right into the lens. Cops and lawyers wouldn't dare cross any of you. Now, if you want to learn how to remove your video background, clean your bad audio and add automatic subtitles all within this same editor, you need to check out this video next and I'll see you guys in the next one.